Welcome back guys, Jimmy Jules 153 with another Dreams Logic tutorial. Today we'll be going over the rotator and the advanced rotator. You can place a rotator on an object in your scene to control its rotation. If we open up the tweak menu, you can see the usual visual representation of the rotation appears around the sculpt, indicating which way it will turn. We'll just change the cube not to be movable here so it doesn't fall to the ground. You can see here that the rotator will rotate the cube on its axis. On the tweak menu, up the top we've got the rotation speed. Then under this we've got the rotation strength, which will increase or decrease the rotator's ability to rotate the mass of the object. We can change the rotation direction by dragging the bar on the right. Under the strength slider, we've got the overall dampening which is the rotator's ability to slow itself down to the speed that you've set. So if we turn this all the way down and set the speed to zero, the cube will keep rotating. If we increase the dampening, the cube will slow itself to a stop. We've also got the advanced rotator. This is very similar, but you have more control over the rotation direction. If we pop into the tweak menu, you can see that we've got individual speed and dampening sliders for each of the X, Y, and Z axes. If we turn on just the Z speed, you can see that the cube rotates around the Z axis. If we increase the X speed, it will rotate around the X axis. And the same with the Y. We've also again got the strength of the rotation and the local space setting down the bottom, which changes whether the rotation is relative to the object or to the grid. Also on the face of the gadget, we have the options to change the X, Y, and Z speeds directly. I didn't get a chance to use any rotators in my levels, but a great example of them would have been Marvelous by Serge US account. They used a rotator to rotate the coins. A more advanced example would be with Ninjuana from Media Molecule with his Dr. Rendezvous dream. He used the rotators to rotate his spaceship. He turned the dampening all the way down so that there wouldn't be any deceleration and it would feel like space. Doing the roll, and then we have um, on the left stick, got the, um, got the I've lost, lost the words oh, now, okay. uh, the roll and pitch. That's a, a pitch and yaw. 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 That's it, get there in the end. Um, and they, so they do the, uh, the same thing <laughs> pretty much as the movers, except they do slightly different things. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's meant. the same yeah. but totally different. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so likewise, you've got like a, a low low strength and no dampening, so that it will you know moves starts to move slowly and then doesn't ever stop. And as before, these are all pretty much the same values in each of them. I mean, I could probably simplify this by using one advanced mover for the whole lot, mm -hmm. uh, but this is. Um, way back before I knew the tools as well as I do now. So. Yeah. Right. That's all for the rotators guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.